So, Greg, thanks for joining us. First of all, talk me through the last few weeks since the end of the season. It's been a bit whirlwind with Stevie and Jason Whedon and, and Peter Grant coming in as manager. What's been your perspective of it all? I think it all came as a surprise um, to me. I received a phone call from Stevie and, you know, he, he said to me that he was stepping down. Um, and I was surprised, really surprised. I didn't see it coming. Um, and then, you know, obviously the aftermath of that was, you know, a week and a half later, it was, was Peter got the job. And, um, you know, I think from that point, the chairman I spoke to me and, and asked me to say if I was wanting to meet Peter. Uh, went up and met him, um, had a really, really good discussion with him for about three hours. And um, I think just his overall enthusiasm and, you know, passion. I think after an hour and a half, Jordan, I was wanting to put my boots on and play for him. It, it got that way. It was, whew, here we go. And um, I think having coached against him in the past, um, the last two years, and, and saw how Alaba played, you know, it, I know the first season he had your Harris, your Flanagan's, your Grahams, and your your um, Jimmys, your Jammers and Goals. So it was um, we lost four. We lost four of the players. We lost three, and Andy Graham went out injured for the majority of last season. So it was, it, we took away the, the spine from his team at Alawa. Um But I always, I was always impressed by how Alawa played. They kept on doing, you know. The same things week in week out, um, and some it was exciting, very exciting. And I thought, mm, I like this. Very similar to what I, I was taught in America when I was over there. And uh, we saw a bit of that with the reserves when you know I first came back. And I know it's coaching the reserve groups, but you know you play a system and a style. And, and the manager Peter certainly been very rigid in how he's want to play, and that's what excited me. You know, just. The, the change of you know the ball the ball has to be in the deck we've got to play out we've got to you know if players make mistakes that's fine it's just that's that that excites me and I think with with Stephen Whitaker coming back as well it was a person I, I grew really close to over the last year you know very similar not had a similar pathway but he came through in a Hibs team that was really successful albeit I was different at Rangers coming from Rangers to Dunfermline you know but um, and, and Peter's obviously played at the highest level with, with Celtic. So, you know, it, it's three of us, a big difference in age groups. I think there's 10 years between each of us, which is good. Um, but it's certainly something that, you know, it, it does excite me. It does um, coaching with the three of them. So, you know, I think we're delighted to be part of it. We can't wait to get in the training field and coach the players. Um, and it's something the players should be excited about. If we go back almost a year ago then to what you were saying there in terms of you were um, coaching the reserve team and then because of COVID that kind of stopped and you moved up to help the first team. How did you enjoy that experience last year? How did it maybe differ and how do you feel that experience will help you going into the role now with, with Peter in charge? I think I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And, and, and it's just, I love being on the training pitch. That's that's what I love doing. Um, and I, you know, I have a really good relationship with with all the players. I had that before I was in the reserve group towards the first team. Um, so being on the training pitch with them and being part of what Stevie and Jason were doing, you know, at that point was was great. Um, and to be honest, you know, the start they had last year was was excellent. It was an excellent start. And it was just it's hard to maintain. So the learning piece from that is that you know, starting well. And maintaining a consistency is key. I think when we, we fell out or we, we, we dropped a few points last year, it was hard to get that level of consistency back. And although it was a young group, you know, it, it's that young group now has had that year, year more experience um, going into this, this current campaign. So that's going to be important as well because we, I mean, obviously getting to the playoffs and, and going out in the way we did was disappointing. But a lot of the players hadn't had a lot of, you know, experience playing in playoffs either. Um, so that's a piece that I think the players will certainly benefit from. Um, and I just think the, the way that the the manager will, you know, go about his stuff um, will certainly be, you know, 
a little bit different than what it's been in the past as well. So, you know, that's something that I'm, I'm really looking forward to and really excited about. But, you know, I've seen some good parts last season and some bad parts, but that's just part of, you know, the season we had, which was unfortunate in the end. With us finishing in the playoffs last year, you could say that we evolved again and, and progressed again in terms of making that next step, getting to the playoffs, albeit maybe disappointed to go out two race rovers in the end. So with Peter coming in, there's a lot of um, excitement and expectation heading into this campaign to, to go one step further again. And he's already said in his first interview he's aiming for the Premiership. Does that um, align with your ambitions and Stephen Whitaker's ambitions as well? Of course it does. That's the aim is to win the league. Um, I think when you believe in a system so much, um, we obviously think we, we have a good squad. Um, we've got players there that can play to that system. And um, it's just, it's filling in the pieces. You're bringing players in that can, you know, can add to that. And it's not just bringing in an experienced player that's played 400 games or whatever and, you know, won a championship. I think it's, it's fitting into a system and the style that, you know, we're wanting to play is important too. But I think we've got to respect the squad we have as well. We've got a lot of good players on our team. You know, Stevie in the past two years of, 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 and Jason have done a really good job of building a good group. You know, so it, it's getting, it's just adding their little pieces and, and making them play and believe in themselves that little bit more as well. So that's going to be important too because the, the tools are there. They've shown in flashes last year, they've did it. But it's just getting the consistency levels. And I think it's, you know, it's very exciting. You know, certainly being on the film, but I said earlier, I wanted to put my boots on and play for them because, you know, we've got a lot of good footballers in the team. So. 16 players already signed up and that must help as well that there's a, a right good nucleus here that's, that, that kind of knows the expectation and what's required and really trying to uh, motivate themselves to, to, to go and, and go that one step further again. But as well as the experienced players like you spoke about, there is that younger element to the group as well that you would have worked with. And when Peter, again, in his first interview, he spoke specifically about Lewis McCann as a player from afar that he's watched and admired and is intrigued to work with. So does that please you as well, that Peter's not just coming in and, and looking to to maybe go down that experience that he is willing to give youngsters a chance and, and really try and develop players? Because that's what Dunfermline's ethos has all been about the last few seasons. Oh yeah, I mean, I knew that anyway with the 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 level that um, the managers coached at in the past and where he's been. You know, he's been part of the Scotland U21 setup under Alex McLeish. You know, and he's been part of the national team as well. So he knows how to coach the younger player too. You know, and I think it's only right that you know we will be fair to you know all the players in the squad. You know, Lewis McCann's a good player; just needs to score a goal. You know, so it's instilling that as soon as players score a goal, then it's it's getting on that, you know, tra upper, upper, upper trajectory to, to keep on scoring and believing in himself more. That That's the piece that, you know, he's been a proven goal scorer in reserve football. It's just taking that next step to, to score goals. We've got Paul Allen, we've got Matty Todd, the same thing, who's been really good performers for me in the reserve groups, but it's taking that next step, step up and actually believing that, that they can do it. You know, so it's... It's uh, certainly it's going to be exciting for them because I know they're all good football players as well. With preseason just round the corner, you must be excited to get to get back to to uh, what you love best in terms of getting out on the training ground and, and really getting the team prepared for the first match of the season. The, the week up group stages have been drawn, so the excitement must be really starting to build for yourself now. Oh yeah, I mean it's been it's been a relatively quick close season. Um, just with all that's that's went on, I think the last game was the 9th of May, you know, and the, the, the aftermath of that and what's happened and how it's played out. It's been fairly quick, you know, when you've, you've been in my position and, and certainly Stephen Whitaker's position too. So to get that little break that I'm on just now is, is, has been really good. But, you know, it was a well well needed rest. But I think, you know, come Friday or come the weekend when I'm back in, you know, I'm really, really looking forward to it. And really, as I said earlier, myself and Wits have a really good relationship with the players. That's important. Um, and it's just it's trying to get them to, or getting them to play, you know, and believing in themselves right from the off. And the big hope, obviously, going into the new season as well, off the pitches, 
uh, getting fans back, season tickets go on sale this week and fans are eager to get them snapped up and be in the stadium to, to cheer on the boys again. Again, that must be great if we can get bums on seats. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I've just had a few texts already um, with people saying to me, I've just renewed my season ticket. Um, so that, that's going to be important. Uh, hopefully the fans will be back. It's been a long year out. Uh, and, and me personally, I, I know that the, the management team can back me up on this, is that we're definitely wanting the fans back. It certainly makes a difference at East End Park. It helps us. Um, but it's, it's certainly going to be a, a different style of football this year. Um, and one that I think the, the Dunfermline fans can be excited about. It's been great catching up. Enjoy the rest of your break. Hopefully speak to you throughout the season. No problem, John. Thank you.